Hey everybody, this is Tambio and you're watching The Daily Review. So, you know how in the past I said that I might start doing Gundam builds? So today is that day and this is going to be the very first Gundam build that I'm going to be doing. Um, so I got, got a Gundam kit out here. It's, uh, I got all my supplies and stuff. So I'm getting ready. Wait up. You thought I was going to build this one? Uh, no, 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 no. This is what I'm going to build. So I know they're a little low, but... So I was uh, at my local Toys R Us today and I saw these guys and uh, I I couldn't resist picking them up. Um, let's get the cameras a little, a little situated. And uh, so I saw these and I was like, ooh, Gundam kits, blind boxes. I, I don't know, these could be fun. So uh, I got uh, all my supplies here. I got, uh, you need a really good set of nippers, and uh, if you can afford them, this is what you get. Uh, you want a, um, uh, a really good X-Acto hobby knife. I got some um, sanding sticks, and I got like a 2,000 uh, grit sanding paper, and I just I basically jerry-rigged my own uh, um device type thing to uh, to hold it so i got all my supplies here and we're gonna take a look at this so yeah like i said i went to a local uh, local toys r us and found these these uh um this is set one and set two there are different figures and i'll show you in a little bit i believe that there is a set three out i don't think that they've made it into america yet so um Let's look at set one, and these are the different figures that uh, uh, can come in in this set. And there's a bunch of them that I have no idea who they are. Um, I did see that they come with little cards, and it says who they are, so that'll help a lot. And uh, they can either come in this gray color, or they can come in this clear color. So, so Neo Zeon right here. There's a um, there's a bunch of ones in here that are that are kind of cool. Um, so and then uh, you have your series two, and you have a Zeta on the cover, which was over there. So I'm I'm kind of hoping I get a Zeta. Um, I uh, wouldn't be averse to this unicorn down here. There's some other things here, but uh, the series three that I saw it has a double Zeta on the front, and it has a uh, unicorn in psycho frame. Um, and it's clear version, um, from what I've seen on the packages, they are blue. So I think that it would be a very cool figure to get and then be able to paint him. Uh, so you would paint the, uh, um, the pieces that are, um, the frame and, uh, or the, uh, the, the armor. And then you just leave, leave the psycho frame, uh, clear. And I think it would look really cool. So I'm, I'm going to try and see if I can find one of those at some point um maybe uh maybe i might be able to find them on ebay if anybody has these and has one of those uh let me know i might uh want to get one off of you uh, from you but uh as you can see i haven't opened these and there's a sticker on the side so it looks like bluefin um brought these over and uh it does say that there's no candy or gum so i assume that the japanese versions of them have uh, uh candy or gum in them um since most of Things like this uh, seem to have that type of thing in them, but uh, for some reason they won't allow us to have candy or gum in with our toys um, here in America. For some reason they frown upon that. But, uh, you know, they just put some choking hazard warnings on here because, you know, how us Americans are really dumb and we like to put small things in our mouths and choke. But... Uh, so, which one should we, let's just go ahead and open this first one right here. So, let's look, see what we got here. Oh, I got a clear. And it is a, uh, it's a RX 37 version 2. Uh, it's a pretty cool one. It has those little fins on the back. So, it's a clear one. This is probably going to be hard to see on the camera. Um. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. Um, 
So let's look at, see what I got for version two. Looks like I got another clear. Oh, I got the bell. That's not really what I wanted. Um, yay. I really didn't want this one. Okay, that's going to be fun. Oh, well. Hey, at least it wasn't the, the city, which really wasn't what I was looking forward to. I, like, I really didn't want that. Um, he was kind of like my next one that I really didn't want. I was really hoping for Zeta, so... Uh, hey, let's go ahead and build these guys. So I guess it's half of the fun of these little sets. So I don't know if I should redo the camera. Uh, maybe I should bring it higher. Uh, I think right here will be fine. Let's go ahead and yeah, let's go ahead and bring it higher. So let's let's rearrange this. So, oh, hmm, I don't know what this is. I guess it's for entry for a Zaku. I have no idea. No. All right, instructions. So, um, Okay, so it looks like we want to take the two arms, put them in, then sandwich them in, and then just add the wings and whatever that is on the back then. Okay, so let's get the trusty god hands out. Sanding's not going to work with this guy. Okay, want to get the arms out. Um, okay, one of the arms has a gun. Okay, so that'll help. I'm going cross-eyed doing, uh, doing these. I never worked with a, a clear set before. Um, where's this other body? Okay. Uh, it's really hard to get. Okay. I think I'm gonna need sanding paper on this. These are okay. Okay, I just need to take a look at this one again. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, all right, so yeah, that's the front, this is the back. Oh God, they're hard to see, because 
these clear. They look really nice, they're just hard. These little pieces back here are kind of stabby. Um, okay, just trying to make sure that I have everything pushed together. the best I'm gonna get this one seems a little loose this one seems pretty good I don't know if I can get I think it's good uh, okay so let's cut the wings out right here It's so hard to see where to tab these things into. Okay. That's good. And then we'll take this piece. How does this piece? Okay, this piece goes like this. We cut off the wrong piece. So it looks like High V Gundam is done. Um, looks like that's it. So, 
little hands move up and down. That's about it. Uh, he has a gun. He has his wings back here. Uh, it's pretty cool. I, I, I do like the, uh, the crystal effect on here. It's hard to see when building it, but it's, it's pretty cool. It looks nice. All right, so let's build the bell. Um, No, this one didn't come with a little promo thing. This one just came with, uh, with him. Oh, okay. So you can clip him into different parts of the bell to make him, um, different heights. Oh, that seems like that's kind of a permanent thing. Hmm. You probably pull it apart and get the pieces out, but you have this. No, you. Oh, okay, no, they're not permanent. Okay, the arms are not permanent. They just uh, uh, slot in. So you can have him down the bottom where his head's just sticking out. Um, See so his head like that. Uh, you can raise it up to here. Um, where his body is sticking out, or you can raise it up to the top where these pieces are sticking out also. Okay, so first let's just go ahead and, um, well, move the body pieces first. All right, so now uh, we should just be able to put this together and it shouldn't affect, hopefully it shouldn't affect the arms. Just for video purposes, I'm going to make him fully extended out of the bell. I can't really tell which side's the front and which side's the back. I think they're both exactly the same. So somebody told me once the best way to do clear model kits, um, basically what you have to do is you have to nip it off, um, then uh, nip it off right before, sand it down, then you have to sand it down with a really good sandpaper. Then you have to wet sand it down 
and then you have to put Futures Polish on it, and that's the way that he said that you properly build a a clear a clear kit. Well, this is not going to work. I shouldn't really care because this is on the bottom, but gosh, it's so... It's so distinguishable, you can see it really well, that <laughs> clear. I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't even like this character. Um, okay, so we'll... This is the better one, so we'll use this for the front. give you much of a running space to clip off any excess either. Okay. And then the staff right here. That's very sharp. Come on. good enough. Alright, so now the arm pieces. Okay, so this one's going to be on this side. And I can think it'll be easier to clip from this side.
Oh, well. <clears throat> it's, it's not that it's a it's a crappy figure or whatever. It, it's just that I don't like the design of that character. Um, a lot of, uh, of characters in that series had really stupid designs. Um, it's like they took stereotypes to the max and yeah. I keep bumping the camera. I'm sorry. It doesn't even look like he has a name. They just have like a number on there for him. I'll have to look him up later. Um, because I think he was on, on G Gundam, I think. I think that's where I remember him coming from. But, uh, well, I'm happy with one, and one of them, uh, so. This is cool. I I may see if I can find some someplace else. Um, maybe see if I can get somebody to order a case of them. I don't know. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do right now. But it seems like these are a little fun projects that we can do and uh and show off some uh some other builds later on uh, but yeah i do have a lot of gundam kits and um as you saw i um i have that zeta plus c1 i have a lot of other zetas i have uh, a red zeta i haven't built i have a gray zeta i haven't built i have um the delta plus i have a couple of uh, a couple of Rizzles I haven't built. Um, I have like three different Estrays that I haven't built. Uh, I have um, uh, the Megazord and Dragon Zord Mini Plus. I haven't finished yet. I haven't built those. And then I have a bunch of D-Style Transformer um, uh, kits that I haven't built yet either. So I think I'll probably start with those. Uh, those seem to be the easiest and uh, at some point we'll uh, we'll go through and check those out and I'll build them and it's not going to be dull like this one is where um, you know you just see me taking everything off of the uh, uh, clipping everything off of the trees and stuff I'll probably clip and prep um, and then just show the build and probably build like one day do the hands the next day do uh, like the body, the next day do the legs, uh, whatever it shows off and over a week's period uh, finish building a Gundam. But I thought that this would be fun. I saw these and definitely wanted to pick them up and, uh, and, and, and check them out. So this gave me an opportunity to uh, showcase, these, showcase these and uh, show them off to you guys. So uh, hopefully you liked it. And um, uh, that'll pretty much do it for this video review of uh, Mobile Suit Gundam Mini Kit Collection. So I got one from uh, uh, set number one and uh, from set number two. If I ever find some from set number three, then I'll definitely do a video also of that. And like I said, if I can get some more of these, if I can get a hold of some more of these, or if I can get a good bulk deal, um, I might do that. But, uh, yeah, that'll go ahead and do it for this video review. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, then please do. Uh, you can check me out on Facebook. I am on there. Uh, this has been Tambiota. Thanks for watching, and I will see you tomorrow.